Good morning, everyone. How are you? Um, just thought I'd fire up the old stream, check in. Good morning. Good morning, Spelunky. Good morning, Spelunky. I guess I should start every stream like that. Uh, <clears throat> um, update from our, uh, our quarantine zone. Uh, we don't have enough coffee for tomorrow, so it's basically game over. Uh, we may as well just give up now. I think um, this may be the last stream that you uh, 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 see from me. Um, I'm filling out my will as I speak. <laughs> Actually, that'd be really impressive if I was because I'm also playing Spunky. <laughs> it doesn't make any sense. Thank you, Shepton. Thank you for your subscription. Um, anyway, how are you all doing? Uh, Dangerous uh, Janelle d has that. And it's very frustrating to her right now, um, and and me to be honest. Uh, but our parents are being responsible. It's just her grandmother who was not. My grandparents are gone, so I don't have to worry about that. But if they were alive, they probably, mm, they probably all would be inside, knowing them. Mike sounds kind of peaky. Oh, it looks peaky too. Hmm. Peaky Mike. Cheeky Nando's. All right, let's. Let's crank that down. I wonder why. Nothing has changed between uh, yesterday and today. All right, yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna lower it a bit. Okay, that seems better. Still looks a little bit peaky, but I don't know. Hmm. Um, let me know if it sounds better. 
Out of paper towels, John, oh no. Uh, being out of paper towels is so frustrating. If, it's not frustrating, you think it's fine until you spill something on the ground and then you're like, oh, I gotta clean this with like a towel? Ugh. Um. Oh my God, problem machine. I just had a Windows update today. Uh, it wanted me to use OneDrive and all kinds of other shit. And then I was very confused and realized that um, my computer had restarted. So I guess that's probably what it is. That's really dumb. Um, that explains it. What? Oh, wow. I just looked at chat thinking there's no way I'm going to die there. Uh, I guess I guess I, I just missed that one. Uh, anyway. Um... Classic Spelunky. Hey, Bill. Um, oh, here's the exact same tile. Weird. This is literally the exact same configuration that I just died to. Wow, that's so crazy. What are the odds of that? Probably not great. Uh, I should play the lottery. Is anyone playing the lottery right now? go to a gas station to play the lottery. No one's gonna go to the gas station. How do you play the lottery? Can we play the lottery from home? Maybe the lottery is like jackpot of a hundred dollars right now. Um, the health lottery. <laughs> yes, we're all playing the health lottery. That's not as fun though. And the payoff is uh, much worse. Um, God, we have a lot to do on our apartment today. It doesn't feel like we're gonna be wanting for things to do. I have a lot of uh, chores and things. We bought a, a portable washing machine that we have to figure out um, because we did the math and realized that now that we have, um, we had our own washer dryer in our last apartment, but here it's a shared thing between everybody that costs money every time you use it. And we did the math and realized that it would basically just pay for itself if we got our own portable washer. Um, so we gotta figure that out today. Um, a tub and a washboard. I mean, there are people who do that, and I think report that it's you know it's a lot of work, but it's fine. Uh, no, it's just like a. It fits uh, like eleven pounds of clothes. And um, it's gonna go right in our bathroom, and it plugs into the um, the sink. Um, you just put a hose around the sink, and that's where it gets its water from. And then it empties the water into the sink. Um, and uh, then you do drying. Um, uh, jump? Nope, not gonna jump. Um, there we go. You do drying um, on just like a, a, a rack. You know, you just dry, you just hang dry it. I did a dry, Kickstarter for a little dryer like that since there are no dryers and it's wet all the time. <laughs> that sucks. Yeah, we considered a, uh, a, a portable dryer too, but kind of figured that we may as well just hang dry. Um, but Chanel just bought like a massive hang hanging rack thing. Um, you can climb down on spikes. Yeah, I guess I always forget that, huh? What do I make coffee with? I make coffee with a, um, uh, what you call it, Chemex. Um, although we were thinking about Switching back to something else, but I don't know. MX is nice, but it's, it takes a lot of work. Oh, Janelle likes the French press, um, and I actually I actually kind of like the, the flavor of, of French press to coffee as well. Um, I, I think I was convinced in my brain that the Chemex was better, but I had some French press coffee recently and I went, mm, you know, not bad and less work. I 
Hang drying doesn't remove lint and leaves my clothes hard. Um, oh, that was gold. Damn. Um, yeah, I think we probably wouldn't be doing it if we lived in a humid, cold environment. Um, but we have a big open front of our house that gets a lot of sunlight and it's California, so I think we're, it's a very dry, dry state. So I think that's, the hope is that it will, it will dry fine here, but we'll see. Oh, that must have been a fraction off. I feel like I really did that correctly. Man. Yeah, I, I was French press uh, for a long time, and um, I think Chemex just became like really popular, the pour over craze, you know? Um, especially in San Francisco at the time, it was just like everybody was doing pour overs. And so um, we got on that train. But, you know, another advantage of, uh, of the French press is you don't have to buy filters, um, which is nice. Um, it's, it's, it's kind of, I mean, it's definitely an expense, but it's also, it's a pain when you run out of filters <laughs> and you haven't noticed. Uh, yeah, I don't know. But Richard, uh, yeah, I've been talking recently. I, I really do want to get on the espresso train. Um, oh man, somebody linked a little tiny, I think they put, hopefully they put it in Discord, like a little, a little pot that you boil that makes pretty good espresso. It was like $70. I want to look into that. Um, oh, this sucks. Uh, ah, uh, uh, yes, the mocha, maca, whatever, yeah. Yeah. I never got on with it. Uh, not good then? Richard, what do you use for your coffee? What does Richard use? <laughs> no, I need espresso uh, advice. I, I want to make a good cup of espresso. That would make me very happy. Man, I don't think I can play Spelunky too long today. It's like starting to hurt my, uh, hurt just everything. But I also haven't worked out. I'm going to work out later today and get those joints going again. <clears throat> I really feel like this is pretty low on the list of annoyances with all this stuff. Um, but man, after working out hardcore for two years and getting in really good shape, I'm, I know what's about to happen and it makes me really sad. <laughs> as much as I try and do at home, I know it's, I'm gonna still end up like losing a lot of muscle mass and it's gonna bump me out. Oh well. <clears throat> Pretty low on my list of concerns, but still a bummer. Oh, I'm gonna stay fit, space, but I was like hitting, you know, real personal best, massive, you know, massive weight, weightlifting kind of things, and like, um, can't really do that from home. I mean, you can, but I just don't have the equipment. Um, I did take the risk and drink last night, and uh, feel fine this morning. So, assuming I don't have uh, COVID, because I'm sure it would have taken that opportunity to just destroy me <laughs> if it if I did. Um, uh, now I'm spending a bomb on that dog. Do you have that Cuisinart grinder prop machine? I can't remember if you said you did. I think you said people that you know have it. All in there, yes. Ah! Uh, hey, Saber Paul, yes, I am doing no gold. Forever and ever and ever. <clears throat> Idle dumbs? Oh, wow. Man, people... <laughs> 
People are coming up with such good names for a workout stream that I almost feel like I need to do it. That was a good play. God, I better do it before I lose my muscle mass. <laughs> better do it when I can still look somewhat impressive. Oh, fuck. Uh, you die. I mean, the most helpful thing right now would be literally no equipment workout session because I think that's probably where most people are at. Um, which I think Janelle would be best at. Demoing. Maybe if we get bored enough. Cut to 24 hours later. <laughs> oh man. It's funny, I think, um, I think a lot of people spend a lot of time at home uh, but the psychological effect of not being able to go out if you want to, I think is the thing that's getting to people already. My mom is just like, oh, this is just the worst. And I'm like, mom, you spend all day at home. You, you barely ever leave your couch. What, what has changed? What? <laughs> I did get out of the party queen, thank you, yes. Um, I'm, I was very relieved uh, about that. Um, Am I like a little, I'm still a little peaky, huh? I'm seeing like a little red here and there. God, what the hell? How did Windows change this dramatically? My my sound. Uh, here, let's, let's crank it down a little bit more. Whoa, well I found the exit. Oh, that's good to hear, Sunlust. Yeah, stuff like that's going to be very difficult. So it's good to hear that uh, he's got a solution. Um, Janelle's dad has um, a kidney, genetic kidney disease, which may actually mean that Janelle has it, but she doesn't know. Um, but it doesn't affect you until you get older. Um, but luckily, he doesn't need to be on dialysis yet, so um, that's good. Mm. Yeah, architecture. It's so strange being back in the Bay Area and not being able to go out to all the amazing restaurants. I'm really glad that we forced ourselves to go out and eat bef like just before this stuff got really bad. Because at least we got like a little taste, but it's such a bummer. Okay. Looking out for gold here because I feel like I'm probably gonna miss it. It's the desaturation on this level, on the on the spooky level, is so tough. Oh boy. Okay, let's go here. Okay. Okay. Um. Oh, Toby, don't. Oh. Kill me. Um. That's a good move, problem machine. I fucked up so bad. I was so ahead of the game on all of this, and yet I didn't buy any onions, <laughs> and I didn't buy any American cheese. I, those are the two things that are killing me right now. I ordered a bunch, but we'll see if it makes it here. Man, talk about two foods that would be like perfect right now. Also, even in that order, I forgot to buy potatoes, which would last forever. Um, which would be a good thing to have too. I just was not thinking. But we're doing pretty good else otherwise. Oh, I have to report. Uh, holy shit. Freeze-dried food, secretly really good now. Um, we, we made the mountain house, uh, what was it? It's like chili mac. It's not like spicy, it's like chili as in like American chili. Um, and I thought like this is gonna taste like cafeteria food at best. Uh, it was actually really good. <laughs> you just pour hot water into this pouch and um, and just wait for eight minutes and then suddenly like you have food and it's really tasty uh, it, it, and, and like warm and like just delightful to eat. Uh, somehow the ground beef tasted just like you had made ground beef a minute ago. Um, I gotta give it a pretty solid, uh, solid review for what it is. Um,
Uh, yeah. Well, what region are you in, Das, generally, without being specific? Germany? Well, yeah, you guys are... You guys are in it with us. Spain seems really bad today. Yeah, man. Onions and potatoes. As an Irishman, I really fucked up. <laughs> How did I forget onions and potatoes? I really let down my ancestors here. Uh, I, I, I feel very shamed. Um... Cyberpaul, I agree, actually. Uh, I don't like... Like, one of the reasons that I didn't like the idea of doing more hell runs and trying to get, like, higher scores is that I just find the process kind of obnoxious. Um, this is such a perfect category for me because I don't like the pressure of having to, uh... just, like, scour the level for money. Um, it's a bummer. It's not the part of the game that I like. Um, I'm just so happy that I got into this. Yeah, wealthy, I know. The thing is, I still, even with the eye, I mean, I've gotten it a few times, even with it, I, I just never think to, like, look at what's coming <laughs> in the wall or whatever. I'm very bad at it. Yeah, unlocking the Temple Shortcut, but I don't understand, how do you- I'm still confused on how any of that shit works. Mm, that's good architecture, yes, we also have rice and macaroni and cheese. Uh, unfortunately no milk, that was a fail. Um, that's another thing that I'm hoping gets delivered here tomorrow. Um, but I think, like, mid next week, I have a feeling the stores are gonna be better shape. I think it's going to be okay. People are just freaking out this week, but I think, um... What the hell do you do here? I guess... Okay, there we go. <gasps> oh! Oh, wow, I didn't think that far ahead. <laughs> Yikes. Oh, you have to bring the key to the start of the temple. I, I just don't... Damn, that was a good run. Lots of granola bars. You know, I'm telling you, man. I, so we we were going to do some disaster prep just because we're in California again. And uh, one of the things that, like, wire cutter or, like, different sort of, you know, buying guides will tell you for that stuff is to buy, like, a bunch of cliff bars. I say screw that, man. The freeze-dried food is delicious. It takes up no space. Um, and the varieties are delightful, like, I think that's the way to go for sure. I am, like, a huge advocate for this fucking freeze-dried nonsense, um, at this point. I would much rather have what I had last night than a cliff bar. Uh, so architecture, it's, unfortunately, the one brand we had last night, um, is, I think, sold out at this point. Um, it's called Mountain House. It's mostly people, uh, it's made for people who go camping, really, and, and then hiking. Like, they do, like, long through hikes or something. Um, because it's very light and, and delicious. Um, and so, I mean, we were, we bought some just because we like, uh, well, we, I shouldn't say we like hiking, we haven't gone that much, but we were gonna get into hiking here, um, and, uh, and camping and stuff. Um, maybe we all are soon. <laughs> but, uh, anyway, um, so we had some anyway, but then I just bought a bunch more. Um, that stuff seems to be sold out everywhere. You can buy it at REI, you can buy it on Amazon. We bought it on Amazon. Um, actually, I bought it from MEC, which is a camping company in Canada. Um, it's a co-op like REI. Uh, but then I bought some more um, from this company that seems to still be in stock. So this is like a hot tip. Um, uh, this is sort of like prepping with Nick right now, but, uh, it's really good food though. Honestly, I would eat it just on a weekday, I'm telling you. Um, I, I can't vouch for the quality of this company, but, uh, I will be able to soon. Um, it's called Packet Gourmet, and, uh, they're in Texas. And I think, 
all of our packaged gourmet is getting delivered today. So I will let you know if that's as good. But um, yeah, I was really impressed. It was actually pretty delightful. And um, Janelle was saying, like, can you imagine hiking all day and, and just like having a bag of this? Uh, it would just taste amazing, and it's true. Um, I mean, in many ways, I feel like cooking uh, at a campsite is a pain in the ass. Um, and like, I don't know, maybe, uh, I mean, it's, it's, I like cooking, um, but I tried cooking when we went camping recently and it was like, oh God, even just making a hot dog was a bummer. Um, so I would, uh, I highly endorse freeze-dried food. I'm very surprised. I thought I was going to hate it. Anyway, I'm rambling about freeze-dried food now. This is where we're at in 2020. Um, yeah, architecture, I think it's much better, right? Um, I think, uh, I was just thinking about this yesterday. I can't imagine going through this with, like, a lack of information on a daily basis, um, or, like, a lack of connection with anybody other than, like, people in your house. Um, can you imagine how much easier it would be to just, like, get away with shit as the government? Uh, I mean, they can certainly shut the internet down if they want to, but I mean, I just, I feel like it's so much better um, right now. I think people would be really freaked out. Even if this happened in like the 90s, I think this would be much worse. Um, oh, damn it. I mean, to be quite honest, like, keeping up the routine of streaming is helping me a lot. Uh, Having the Discord is helping a lot. If I was just sitting in my apartment staring out the window with no input other than like CNN and NBC, I would, ugh, can you imagine how depressing that would be? All right, this is gonna be impossible. How the fuck am I gonna do this? Um, um, oof. Oh no! I saw that coming a mile away. architecture yeah I do wonder about network stress and can the internet even hold up to this uh, massive assault that is about to occur um, I mean I guess like on a daily basis people are still at work using the internet but I mean video conferencing is a lot of bandwidth right um, so what the hell is gonna happen when on Monday everybody turns on zoom Am I even going to be able to stream? <laughs> I don't know. I hope so. Oh yeah, Half Loaf. I mean, even here our neighborhood's pretty quiet, so it's not like we can't take Toby for a walk safely. Um, plus people are staying inside, so it's not like everyone's trying to hang out and off in your face. But I mean, just like in terms of maintaining your sanity, I feel like internet communities are a very comforting thing right now. Oh, wow. That was incredibly lucky. Holy hell. Oh no. I don't know why I'm bothering to do this on one, two. I have like no health. What is the point of this? VPN termination points. Mm. Um, Problem machine, you know, uh, the packet gourmet might be pricey, but the mountain house, at least it used to be, <laughs> we'll see what they if they adjust prices and all this, but they used to be um, pretty pretty affordable. I mean, they're designed for hikers who are generally pretty frugal uh, people, um, so. Uh, there are a lot of different companies who do this, so it's worth taking a look at all of them. I'm at a grocery store and we're all just working crazy hours until we get sick. Ugh, Levi, I don't want to hear that. That's such a bummer. Ugh. I mean, I, I imagine grocery stores are going to go through what, what hospitals go through, to be honest. Um, and that's just really a bummer. Well, stay safe and please try not to 
take care of yourself. If you if you don't feel good, just stay home. Fuck them, you know. Um, but thank you for your service. I mean, I mean, I'm I'm 100% serious. I don't know what the hell we'd do without people who are still going to work in that regard. But yeah, I think ISIS is correct. I think the panic buying probably will start to fade away even like mid next week. I think people have like just had a moment here of realizing what the hell's going on. I don't know what to do. Oh god. Well, there's two of them down, and I'm dead. Okay. <laughs> Miles. Well, I mean, I think I think they're gonna be eating more food, but I think it's gonna start to normalize. I think people stocked up, and you can only fill your freezer so much, you know. Um, but yeah, they are a spinning mind. Also, I mean, to be honest, like you can only spend so much money on groceries before you've spent a lot of money. <laughs> um, so I think, I think, um... oh, that's good to hear, Levi. Um... I mean, not the 16s part, but he's a 16. Well, I saw that some grocery stores are starting to cut back hours, uh, both, I think, for employee sanity, but also to um, have a couple hours of, like, cleaning and disinfecting and that kind of thing. Um, so hopefully uh, your store will adopt those measures. Um, yeah, it seems like a lot right now. I mean, honestly, like, long term, People are going to have to just start getting deliveries, which I th think is probably better for everybody. I mean, it means a lot of delivery people, but I think that's probably safer for the workers um, than having a bunch of people at the cashier. Um, and it's definitely safer for people getting food to have your food just dropped off in a sealed bag um, uh, at your door. Um, I gave instructions, we'll see what happens tomorrow, I'm curious, but I gave instructions for my delivery to just like drop it in the front of our house and I'll uh, see you later. <laughs> I'm not going to come down and greet you, um, which is what they're supposed to be doing. Um, but I think uh, that's become standard in other countries and I think it will be here eventually. Yeah, Miles, heating it up. Um, I mean, yeah, like the packaging is always a concern, right? So you wash, you put all your food away and then wash your hands. Um, you know, the, the virus technically can live on surfaces for a couple of days, um, but uh, it it's definitely, um, most of the virus dies within a couple of minutes. It's like um, not as much of a concern as being coughed on. Um, I think ultimately it's better to, to move to deliveries, but we'll see what happens. Ugh. Sunlust, man, yeah, I got a delivery and the lady, like the um, delivery person, you know, I, I don't blame her, but she was just like, you gotta sign for it, and it was her personal phone that I had to like sign with my finger. And I was like, oh boy, this is, <laughs> this is, if this is still happening everywhere, this is not a good, a good practice. Um, but, uh... I'm kind of done with that stuff, though. I, I mean, I'll just refuse the delivery. Oh, man. Okay, well, hmm. Yeah. Well, anyway. I think things will start to normalize. I think people will just have a weird month here, and you know, hopefully that means that the uh, the numbers start to curve a bit away from the skyrocketing graph.
Oh my god, I don't know how many times that's gonna happen before I stop trying to do that. <laughs> Mm, architecture, have you had a, a fever? Um, because I will say I've had a cough and uh, somewhat of a sore throat for the last week, and in my case it's absolutely seasonal allergies. This is the thing that's just like really frustrating right now with the testing, I think, um, is that because it's not going to be widespread, people who have concerns about other things that are going on um, are going to mistake them as COVID and get really freaked out. Um, but. Um, no fever but diarrhea. Well, yeah, I don't know what to tell you. Um, you're probably okay. 90% of people get a fever. It's, it's almost always a fever uh, is how it starts. Um, but diarrhea is one of the symptoms in 20% of people, but I would be really surprised if I mean, I'm not a doctor, so whatever, but uh, I'd be really surprised if you had diarrhea but not a fever. Um, but who knows? I don't know. It hits everybody slightly differently, so I, yeah, I can't... I would think you're okay, but... I mean, if you don't have the fever, you're probably fighting it off pretty effectively. If you've had it for a week, uh, you're probably okay, but... Um... Yeah. I mean, the other thing is, like, this is what's so frustrating about kind of the state of public health and people's awareness of how this stuff works, is that there are a lot of bugs that go around other than the flu every year, um, and people just generally don't know a whole lot about how this stuff works. Um, I'm hyper aware of it because I'm a hypochondriac, <laughs> but uh, I... Uh, you know, like, people still go around talking about, like, I had the stomach flu, when they don't even know what that means or what it is, you know? Um, but, uh, people get illnesses all the time that are not the flu, and, um, these things are still tracked by public health, uh, every year. Um, there are just weird viruses out there that just circulate, um, uh, and, uh, because it's still March and it's flu season and all that stuff is still out there, your chances of it being this one specific thing right now or, you know, who knows what they are. I mean, um, in most countries, I suspect that the flu is still more common than, than COVID right now. So it could be anything. If you don't have that fever, I, I wouldn't worry too much. <laughs> yeah, default, isn't that... Isn't that like, I feel like that's everybody's go-to, is like, I have the stomach flu. Doesn't mean anything. Oh my god, Lilamo. I've had norovirus like three times in my life, which is one of the reasons why I am a hypochondriac, but... Norovirus is just the worst. Anyway, this is fun discussion. Good morning, everyone. Let's talk about norovirus. <laughs> am, I, am I being a vibe killer? Sorry. What was everybody's vibe in the first place, though? What did I murder? What am I being convicted of? Or, uh, used of. Let's, let's uh, go here. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh, you're kidding. What? There was gold down there? And then there are uh, pools? Hmm. Yeah, I mean, I, I think um, 
everyone's freaking out about coughs and things, and um, I get it, but I really... Unless you have trouble breathing, or you have a fever, I wouldn't jump to conclusions. Um, in China, they just, you know, tested everybody's temperature, um, which doesn't mean that you're going to catch it ahead of time, but it definitely means that, like, if you've got it, that's, you know, a pretty good indicator. And, uh, and then if you had a temperature, they looked at your lungs. Um, but there's a reason why the temperature is important, because it usually starts with a fever. <laughs> Broccoli, I would say that it is not better to get it earlier, uh, considering that there are a number of reports that are accurate reports that are, you know, scientific reports that you can catch it again. Um, or that uh, at least it can lie dormant in your system um, after you've had it and you can, you can become reinfected. So it's definitely not better to get it earlier. Um, Yeah, should I just get the damn key for once? Um. Yeah, dangerous. Yeah, they have these like fever, uh, fever clinics, which we do not have. We have like urgent care, which is gonna just be a fucking shit show here. But. Um, <sighs> hey, just live, man. We're gonna have to like actively try to talk about other things, aren't we? <laughs> it's so easy to just slip into talking about this stupid thing, but it it, it is gonna just become yeah wealthy. Tell me about it. Well, I don't know. I mean, BC. Mm, depending on how bad it gets in BC, I don't. I mean, I, certainly Canadian healthcare seems better, but also. Uh, I don't, I don't know how prepared they are or not. And that's just, my allergies are not great. Um, definitely, uh, you know, occasional, occasional cough, lots of, lots of sore throaty kind of things. You can hear I'm a little craggly. Um, but, uh, not, I think it really, I, d I do think a lot of people don't realize they have allergies, and so I, I, it's why I keep talking about, like, don't worry until you have a fever, probably, because, um, people are just now becoming really hyper-aware of their bodies and, like, their sniffles and coughs and things, and, um, I think a lot of people do walk around not thinking about it very much, and, um, usually... And uh, I wouldn't worry about it because allergies can make you feel like you are sick um, or like very tired or fatigued, and uh, doesn't mean that you um, mean that you have this thing. Let's use a rope. Um, <laughs> uh, no! Mm -hmm. Okay. Reading chat on the rope for some reason, I guess because I didn't want to face what was about to happen. Yeah, M dashes. Uh, I was like that through my 20s, and now I'm just like a fucking seasoned pro. Um, I'm just like, oh, yep, it's uh, the sun's out, it's March. Yeah, okay. Well, and also now that global warming, I mean, I basically have allergies like year round now because it's always just fucking warm. Um, uh, 
That's true, Spinning Mine, but we lived downtown uh, on a very populated street um, without many grocery stores or things near us that weren't going to be, like, probably overwhelmed. So, um... Eh, this, this is a better situation. Also, we have a much larger apartment. I can't imagine being cooped up in, like, a studio apartment right now um, with two people and a dog. Um, so, uh, we weren't in a studio then, but I just mean, like, I'm very happy that we sized up a little bit because it's going to make this easier for us. Oh my god. Wow. Okay. Uh, let's get the dog. Toby. Come here. Um, I feel if I was thinking about it, but I'm a little worried our backyard doesn't get... Oh my god. Our back here doesn't get a ton of sun, um, because there's just like a lot of like bamboo and things that are very tall. Um, like direct sun anyway doesn't get, I don't think, but um, we could do like a, an herb thing on our windowsill maybe. Wow, that's a very uh, video game move, Miles. Got that harvest moon instinct. Um, oh man, Janelle makes fun of me for the bamboo, but I really like my, my bamboo view. My bamboo view, boo boo. I just look up above my monitor and it's just bamboo out, out my window and it's very pleasing. Although today it's raining and shitty. Yeah, I feel like I would kill a basil plant. Not through neglect, just because I wanted to murder it. Uh, we did buy a plant that I have yet to water. Whoops. Sorry, plant. Gotta get on that. what's going to be depressing when um, Bon Appetit runs out of uh, video to uh, mirror. Because they're all working from home now too. Maybe they'll just become Twitch streamers. Hey guys, it's Brad. Like, follow, subscribe. Please join my uh, Warder tier on Patreon. <laughs> There we go. That's what I like. Oh shit, that's a piranha! Oh fuck. Oh man. Well, that was a big waste of health. Mm, M dashes. Yeah, I gotta get that going. That's one of the things I want to... Oh my god. Wow, I'm super dead. Um, <clears throat> that's one of the things I, uh, I need to work on today, is uh, testing a cooking stream. Thing is, it's going to be kind of pathetic. I, it's like, I, I don't know, it's like, okay, we're having... Um, the ground beef and rice tonight. Let's cook that. Cool. Uh. <laughs> Here's me putting the water into my uh, freeze-dried food, and it's done! Fantastic. Two-step recipe.
Does anybody remember the, um, the old lady who did, um, oh my god, that was pro, uh, the Depression Era cooking on YouTube? Um, unfortunately she's passed away now, but, uh, it was, it was one of my favorite YouTube series back in the day. We just made, like, peas on toast, and it was, you know... Uh, very endearing. Because she took it deadly seriously. She was like, this is an amazing recipe. It's peas on toast. Um, oh fuck. Oh my god. Uh, here, let's utilize all our resources. Oh, no! Well, it worked, kind of. I still lost health, though. It's pointless. Oh god. I want those boxes. Two bombs. It's probably worth it, actually. Oh, uh, barely. I got one bomb out of it. Order a shitload of eggs so I can practice my uh, my egg egg cooking skills, which I think I probably at this point I, I feel confident enough to demo eggs on a stream. I feel like I'm pretty good at eggs. Um, oh fuck! It's to the right. God damn it! What? Oh, there's another level. Oh, wow, I lost track of what this was. Completely. I make really good egg sandwiches. Uh, unfortunately, I don't know if there's going to be a whole lot of brioche buns out there, but uh, I just use regular bread. It's fine. Um, Make your own. You know, I probably will... Well, you know what I'd probably do is tap Janelle to do that. She loves making bread. She's, she's thinking about doing a sourdough starter, which it is one of the great things about living in the Bay Area. You can make really good bread. The air is just better here for that. Making um, okay bread is not hard. Making good bread is hard. Um, but most people, I think, can make something that's edible. Um, and then bomb down, because this is a mess. Oh wow, this is a really fucked up level. Uh-oh, uh-oh, oh. Okay. Okay, okay. Everything's fine. Oh, we got one health. Everything's fine, everything's fine. have jumped. Alright, this may be my last run here. I have to conserve my uh, stupid RSI and thing. Uh, make sure it's not, uh, I'm not crippling my streaming ability right off the bat. This is going to be a marathon, not a sprint.
But uh, might stream later today with Janelle, depending on if she sets her computer up and stuff and we get bored. But um, we do have a lot of chores and things we need to accomplish today. And uh, we're a little tired because we had some drinks last night. So, whoops, sorry, Toby. Um, so, TBD on that. But uh, if not today, probably tomorrow. Wow, a decade M dashes, that's crazy. Default 8 is pretty fucking good too. pretty cute this morning. He, uh, I think he was really sad that initially we rejected him coming into our bed in the morning because I was tired and just didn't want to deal with it. But then um, Janelle got up and uh, he crawled into bed with me and sort of slept, nestled between my legs and then put his head on my like knee um, for like an hour. Uh, I think somebody up there was like, I wish I had pets. And like, I will say, uh, having a dog in this moment is priceless. Um, I'm so glad we have Toby. Just to have like one more thing that is like... I mean one, it's just like a thing you have to take care of so he keeps you busy, but then also um, Toby doesn't know what the hell's going on, which is actually really comforting. <laughs> um, oh my god, this level sucks! Did Janelle take a picture? No. He's, uh... He was probably reading the internet at the time. Doing dishes or something. Oh, fuck! Yeah, Nimble, our ramen gets here today. You know what? <laughs> Maybe my first cooking stream will be Nick makes instant ramen for the very first time in his life. Uh, I was thinking of the cooking streams as being more like, I'm making something I'm really good at making and I'm very familiar with, and here's how you do it. But uh, maybe it should just be, I don't know how to do this, let's do it together. Um, because, uh, not that Insta Ramen is like, hard to make, but that'd be kind of funny. Um, I also really have never made, uh, I've made challah bread, which is, I, you know what, I could make challah now, because all it takes is eggs and flour and stuff. Um, although I don't know if it takes, I can't remember if it takes yeast. It probably does. Um, I, mean, I mean, it almost certainly does, right? So I don't, I don't have any instant yeast or anything or active dry. Um, but, uh, oh, come on. I'm doing one more, that was bullshit. Um, <laughs> yeah, I've never made instant ramen. It's just, uh, I don't know. I think most people, uh, from what I can tell, get into instant ramen. Either their mom made it for them, which, like, my mom just never made instant ramen. Um, I mean, she never made instant anything. She just cooked every night. And then, um, in college, I just cooked every night. I never made anything that was, like, frozen or something. Um, so it's just not a thing I ever considered. Um... But, uh... But also, you know, like, oh, god damn it. Growing up in Michigan, um, in the 90s, there wasn't a whole lot of, uh, like, sushi? There wasn't a whole lot, I mean, there was definitely, like, no ramen, uh, joint in town. Uh, we had, like, one Thai restaurant until I was 16, and then we got, like, a legit Thai restaurant. Um, so, that was another aspect of this. Uh, growing up in California, you're gonna find a lot of that stuff, but not in Michigan. We had Outback Steakhouse, and Applebee's, and Chili's, and like, bad burger bars. 
I didn't have sushi until I was like, I don't know, 20? I saw on um, David Chang's show on Netflix, Miles, I don't watch it really, but I saw, I watched like five minutes of it because I saw that he went to Outback. Um, and uh, they were all just like, it was a pretty good steak. I do appreciate that they went to Domino's on a previous episode and were like, vouching for it. Uh, I'm not generally wild about that guy's style, but um, I do appreciate that he uh, is willing to go to places that are not like fancy restaurants. We bought the Nongshim Black Bubble Machine, uh, which is spicy, I think, but I suspect the spice can be added separately. Um, uh, oh, fuck. I have plenty of health, so... Um, yeah, I don't, I don't always roll with the spicy stuff. Uh, oh, fuck. Wow, great level. I'll keep going. This is gonna be my last one. Um, anyway, yeah, I'm excited to try it. I mean, I love ramen. So here's the thing about me and the eggs. I'm not a big fan of the egg and the ramen. I know this is going to disappoint a lot of you, but I don't really like the hard-boiled egg. It's not my favorite part of ramen. Uh, I like hard-boiled eggs, and I don't like them combined. I just really don't. Um, I prefer, like, um, uh, just, like, all the veggies and other things that you can typically get added to, uh, to ramen. Um, but I'm not a big fan of the ramen egg. I don't know. On. There you uh, well, mm. that's not what I wanted you to do. Oops. Ah. Oh, that worked somehow. Zone. Whoa! Oh my god. Uh oh. Oh. Oh my god. Oh boy. We're just straight up like dueling these bees. Okay, there's the exit. All right. Yeah, I know I'm disappointing everyone with the with the egg thing, but. Eggs are gross. <laughs> I love eggs. I love hard-boiled eggs, but I, I just, uh, it's not my favorite thing to have an egg floating in pasta. I don't know. Um, I mean, similarly, I'm not a big fan of carbonara, but that's more of a food poisoning thing than anything else. Um, Scrambled egg and fried rice. Oh, I like that. Um, I like that just fine. Uh, I mean, it's not, I mean, I should say, it's not my favorite thing either, because it's typically overcooked, right? You know, I mean, I feel like the scrambled egg and fried rice, it's fine. It's, it's, it's like, it serves its purpose, I guess, which is like adding protein, but um, it's always just like dry little nuggets of garbage. Eh. Now, fried rice, though, I will say I'm really good at making fried rice. Janelle even says, and this is a high, uh, high amount of praise for her because it's an Asian uh, thing, which typically she would say, I'm, I'm, you know, anybody who's white making Asian food needs to shut the fuck up. But I made really good fried rice um, several times for her. And so that's something that I could do on a stream. Although I don't have all the disparate ingredients I would need um, right now. 
We can make bullshit fried rice, which is probably fine. I mean, that's kind of what fried rice is. But, uh... I don't have frozen peas, which I like. I don't have frozen carrots. I've got a frozen vegetable medley, which I guess would work fine, actually. Actually, that would work fine, because it's probably carrots and peas and onions and shit. Um... But yeah, I don't, I don't know. The egg, the egg, I don't know. For me, a lot of the time, it's just like, keep the things in the good form of what they are. Like, um, eggs should be either fried and crispy or really soft and savory and um, uh, custardy or, you know, but when you've got to like crank up the heat and turn it into just, oh, fuck, oh. God damn it, one more. One more, then I'm done. For real, this time. Ah, oh, that was so close. I'll say this, and this is, um, I typically wouldn't pat myself on the back like this, but I think, I think the fried rice that I make is better than fried rice I've had in restaurants. Um, I suspect that's true of a lot of homemade fried rice, because I think, I think, um, I think the ingredients and just the, um, the cooking time matters a lot. Just one of those things I think you can just make better. I mean, I think that's also true of, like, scrambled eggs, usually. Um, it's hard to find a good scrambled egg in a restaurant. That's what I'm saying, space. There are things I know to never attempt. Uh, <laughs> that you can only really get that's, uh, that's gonna be good in a restaurant. Unless you put in like a ton of effort. I mean, to be honest, like pho is one of those things. I'm, I'm impressed that Problem Machine would attempt it because I, I feel like... Although I guess with pho, you know, a lot of it's the stock and if you can, if you can build up a good stock and have that on hand, but man, that's going to be a lot of work. Um, a lot of Thai food is a lot of work. Curries, things like this, I would just never bother attempting at home. It just seems like so much work. Yeah, I'm very particular about my eggs. I feel like they have to be well prepared. Or you're just kind of ruining the whole effect. Ooh, another thing I like is um, a really good deviled egg, but I don't, I don't know, could I make deviled eggs? I did order some dill. I've got Dijon, so I suppose I could. There's probably an ingredient I'm missing, though, that I would need. I'm trying to think. Oh, God. Why? Oh, paprika. Fuck. I don't think we have paprika because we just moved in and we don't have all our spices yet. Uh. Yet. This coinciding with a move-in is a real bummer. <laughs> like, there are things that we would have in our house that we just don't because we just moved in. Spices are one of them. American cheese is another. Normally I would have, like, two packages of American cheese just sitting there, but... This is my last one. <laughs> I really should stop. I'm gonna, I'm gonna get my RSI going again and not be able to stream. That's gonna bump me out. And I wonder what my hair would look like, uh, like shoulder length. I.e., I wonder what's gonna look like in three months. Maybe I'll just grab the clippers and just shave it all off. 
That would be a, a very interesting. Uh, I do have something that the community gifted me that would help with this. <laughs> but uh, we'll save that for another day. Start playing with that Rock Band controller. I don't know though. I feel like Rock Band isn't kind on your your wrists though. I don't know that that would really help. I remember when that um, Detroit Tigers player uh, like missed a playoff game because he was playing too much Rock Band. Sorry, Tobes. DDR, Matt. Oh, God. I just don't have a DDR mat, so that would be the biggest barrier to uh, a Far Cry of that. Yeah, you know, I don't really need the shotgun on this run. It's nice for Anubis, I guess, but other than that, I'd rather have a rock, especially in the jungle. Oh my god. Oof, that was close. <gasps> no! Okay. That's true, Wealthy, but I think I just need to be slower in general uh, that stuff. The solution is to just not spawn them all at once. I was treating it like a speed monkey on the last attempt and it was just a mess. I think I need to just be a little more deliberate on Olmec. Yeah, Wealthy, I, I like to play fast on this because, um, honestly, I find that when I overthink stuff in this game, like, I think, I'm definitely playing slower than I did on Speed Lunky, but when I overthink things is when I get into trouble sometimes, and so I'm trying to just keep a flow state up, but it definitely works against me at times. Um, I think with Olmec especially, I need to just, like, concentrate on not dying. not a bad run. This is going to be a good one to end on. 
one way or another, it's, it's a decent run. Um, let's write this down. Ooh, okay. Um, nothing below, right? Okay. Probably to the left, I'm guessing. Yes, okay. Well, that gold is annoying. You know, if, if I do get, like, stupid RSI hands, another thing that we can do is do, like, board games. We can finally do that for, like, home stream. It would make me happy. I don't know if this is the end. This is the end. Oh, my God. Oh, wow. Okay. All right, this is the real shit here. a bad looking brute. But I don't want to grab that thing and have the hmm. Nah, let's just go around, I guess. Okay. Pretty decent. Yeah, half loaf. That's the thing. People are gonna know the um, story, so I mean, not everyone, but some people will, and that will be more that. But um, if people are good about it, it'll be fine. Oh my god, that mummy down there. Ugh, this is a terrible level. Shit. Uh, oh boy, I have six bombs. I probably should just... Okay, I think I see what I need to do. This is not my favorite thing, but oh my god, there's gold everywhere. Fuck. Uh, oh god, okay. That was a good play. This is a terrible level, I'm just gonna spend some bombs to mitigate some of the problems here. Oh man. Mm. Oh! Fuck. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh. Oh. No! <laughs> God, what a shit level that was. Wow. Wow? Wow. I think I, I read wow and <laughs> was thinking and I can't. I'm done. All right, everyone. Um, Foul, wow, wow. Oh. Well, this was a fun stream, though. Um, I don't know if we'll be back later. We have a lot to do in the house today. Um, but uh, I will probably keep trying to do the morning spelunky. Oh, wait. Check potato suggestion for chat above. Potato, gold, potato. Just turn on emote only chat. Oh. <laughs> no, I think it'd be fun to try to solve the cases with chat though. I feel like it'd be fun for people to like throw out ideas and stuff. I think it's just gonna have to be honor system. Like people are just not gonna have to if you know how to solve the case, just tap out and don't don't participate in the chat. I trust all of you, sort of. Anyway, um thank you patrons. Uh especially in these times, my God, um it's gonna disrupt everybody's work, but uh, including mine. Um, and uh, I appreciate you very much, and um, I'm so glad that we all have this as, a, as an outlet. Um, and um, yes, please continue um, hanging out in the Discord. It makes me happy. Um, anyway, uh, yeah, I don't know if I'll be back later, but um, maybe. And uh, if not, I will at the very least keep doing Morning Spelunky. Um, I might need to not do an hour and a half of it though even though it makes me really happy because my stupid hands are gonna die but um stay safe stay inside um and uh maybe i'll get that cooking stream up and we can start that on like monday or something anyway um see you on the discord and uh yeah chill out have a have an easy saturday um i'll see you later
Bye. Don't wash your hands.